Hey everybody, this is Darwin Reynan, the Festival Director of Hospitalet Barcelona International Film Festival. We start a new project which is called Meet the Actors, the nominee actors and actresses. Today we have a beautiful girl, amazing, she's working all the time, she made this beautiful work which is in our festival, FG Poison in the City, and we got Elisa, how are you? I'm perfect, thank you, and you. It's nice to have you. How are you? I'm doing good. We're yeah. happy to have you. Uh, we're really happy to have you and have FEG position in the city and the festival. Uh, Elisa, tell me, uh, what was the, the thing that you like when you check the screenplay of FEG and you read it and you say, wow, I have to do this. What was that thing that drives you to, to do the character of Kato, right? Kato, yeah. Um, I read the script and I was like mind blown because it's a true story. And uh, Alicia Gottfried, the murderer, she killed 15 people in 15 years. So it was really like an intense story. And then I was the law clerk and she has a really good intuition, like women in general has or have. And um, yeah, I was like really into it um, as being like a, detect a detective. And I can like, yeah, go behind everything and also um, creating a really like special connection to the murderer, even if she is like, yeah, um, a weird person or someone who's not really like, yeah, to, to look into her immediately. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, Elisa, tell, tell us, uh, how do you prepare Kato? There was a uh, preparation before, do you went to, to police? What was the, the research you, you did to create Kato? Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, I prepared uh, for the casting. I had like, I don't know, three or four days. Mm -hmm. And I put myself in my apartment and I read the script and I put similar clothes on. I mean, it's 1826, so I don't have anything in my carpet or in my uh, closet. Um, but uh, I try to listen to music from these days. I try to really like feel into it and yeah, read, like did a lot of research. And um, I think the main thing was that I try to um, go over feelings into the role. Mm -hmm. So I really try to think how did the character feel in those situations? And um, yeah, this was, and there's also a beautiful book about Geisha Gottfried, and there's so much information oh. inside. So you have an idea, just a little idea how it was back in the days. Wow. Uh, Elisa, yeah. tell us uh, how different and how closer Kato was from you as Elisa. It was something very far away from your personality and uh, the character has something very close to your personality. Can you tell us if there was any, any related to you and Kato or Kato to you? Yeah, uh, I think even if we are different personalities, there was also things what was like similar in the way that uh, I'm an actress. I try to do a lot of interviews and get like jobs. And uh, Kato Böhme, uh, she has also a problem to get a job in her, in her, yeah, um, dream, um, uh, dream, yeah, about her dream job, um, being a law lawyer. And um, then she needs to, um, yeah, show her best. Um, sites to to yeah, get the job so this is something what was similar and uh, where also if the insecurities are like if it is possible to get it how can I do it I need to be like perform in a way and show my abilities but on the other hand it should be not too um, pushy or too yeah, yeah something like this so this is something and still like women in these societies have also problems still um it's much better much 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 better but there's still things where women can like yeah um come to their borders mm -hmm. right 
Uh, beautiful. Yes. What, uh, anything during the shooting period of uh, FEG? Was anything very difficult for you to, to do? There was any challenge for you as a character of Kato to do or everything was really flow? How was that? Tell us a little bit if it was any challenging for you during the production time. Uh, there were some, some situations. Um, we had, I don't know, eight shooting days. I had 16 from them. So I was almost every day on set. And uh, it was a huge, huge character. And yeah. I needed uh, to, to think how it is because we didn't shoot uh, in chronic. Mm -hmm. uh, we shoot it like, yeah, cross over. So I needed to fix all the scenes with like little comments, how yeah. I need to get the next scene, how I need to jump out and yeah, connect all the scenes and make some marks. And so this was some, yeah, some work. But also there were things like the situation when I'm running into the room where I think that uh, Geisha poisoned um, the mother and his, her child. Um, that was something I was in the, in the floor and I needed to try to get into this mood of being really like, oh, something really bad can happen now. And um, then all the people came and said, Elisa, I need to check your clothes. I need to check your makeup. And are you okay? And I was like, fuck, out of my way because I really need to focus. And um, yeah, then it was actually one take when I arrived in the room and wow. uh, I saw like the, that um, fam little family the floor like the little boy on the floor mm. and we tried uh, yeah we tried to do like a one take um to to capture the first yeah moment mm -hmm. of my play act and um it was it was scary because i i tried to get into the scene i ran into the room and i turned around and i saw them and the makeup artists were really great because they look really scary and uh, it was like fuck. So yeah, that was intense. Wow. Mm -hmm. Tell me how it, do you guys the rehearsals between you and Suzanne and Christoph, Mar, how was that mm -hmm. process? That's very interesting for actors and actresses to know. Uh, it was, it was, um, yeah, we did a lot of rehearsals. We had, um, we had a big house where we lived together, a beautiful. Wow. And so, um, in, yeah, it was a huge, huge house where it was a saloon, like a living room. And after the shooting, we met us there and uh, we talked about the script. We read through the lines. Um, we like tried to um, feel uh, how the connections are between them, uh, what kind of thoughts we have as, uh, as the characters and um, yeah, I had the possibility to get really like deep in the script. Mm -hmm. uh, and on set, of course, as well. So we have the technique rehearsals and uh, not that much time, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we did a lot of rehearsals and it's, it's the best you can do, but also don't do too much rehearsals because mm -hmm. then like the the fresh wound is flying away. Right, wow, mm. it's beautiful. So I'm gonna get into a little bit into the craft of acting, okay? I'm gonna ask you like a few questions. Uh, Elisa, you have any method of acting method behind that you studied before when you start your career or, or how's your, or you have your own method? Or, you know, some people have started Blasky, uh, Strasberg, you know, uh, Stella, uh, you know, Miner, all. Do you have any of those? Do you study them or you use your own, your own method? How is Elisa for acting method? Mm. Yeah, good question. I think it's a combination to all of them, mm. but um, I'm a person who is working with her intuition. Um, it's for me really important to know the lines. It's really, really important to be free. And then 
I'm going over my feelings. How is the character feeling in those moments? And then I'm also um, seeing what's what's coming from my partner because it's a, yeah, it's teamwork. It's um, it's also like going in in the, in the location on set and you see everything and you smell and um, it's. It's a combination of your senses that your senses are awake and you try to, to feel everything and um, work with everything what is coming up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you have great actors to act with, it's also like a really good thing. And um, you can learn a lot of from your colleagues as well. And you need to observe everything and see everything and feel how everybody wants to create it. it's a creation. Yeah. Right. Tell me, uh, you are a very active professional actress. You're doing a lot of stuff I we see uh, from the festival. Uh, what is the insecurities that an actor, an actress used to have? Especially for you, you know, we all insecure in some form, right? You as an actress, what is the thing that you feel insecure when you are uh, portraying a character or when you're about to make a film? What is it? Is anything that you are scared of? <laughs> we all are scared, right? To something, that's for sure. What about for you? Sure. Tell us. Um, yeah, the main scare is to fail. I think this is super simple. Um, there was also an FEG, there were moments where I thought I'm failing. like. I'm not good enough, I don't get it, I don't feel the scene, mm. I don't see the others, and then it's like, yeah, the time is behind you, and you need to perform, but sometimes you're not into it. But my experience with FEG, for example, was that Udo, the director, a really beautiful friend and director, um, I had a moment where I thought I had like rehearsals I, in a special scene. I did a lot of rehearsals. I, I know everything, I feel everything. And on the shooting day, I thought it was not good. And I was so sad because then at one moment he said, okay, it's lunchtime. And I was like, no, Udo, no, 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 I'm not, it's not, it's not perfect enough. And he said, he said, trust me. And I said, no, 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 it's not good enough. <laughs> And uh, I was super sad. I was like, I didn't want to eat. I was like, really like hard with me, a lot of critics I gave to myself. And then he came to me and it was a super special moment. And he said, Elisa, we are cutting, editing this in the other room. So if you don't like it at all, you can see it in some hours. If you don't like it at all, we can shoot it again. Wow. And then I came uh, to the editor and uh, he showed me the scene and I looked at Udo and I said oh Udo you're right actually it's better than I thought it's great <laughs> so sometimes you think you are failing but it's it's um yeah sometimes you just need to flow with the team and trust in the team and yeah I feel also secure with the team it was yeah it was a lot of teaching and um, it was great in the end. So yes, of course, I think sometimes I'm not good enough, but then it's good enough. Mm. Right, that <laughs> happens to a lot of uh, actors, you know, and directors. They're feeling like there's, I mean, I watch your film twice, uh, you know, your character, and you do amazing. I have to tell you that honestly, you know, and it, Suzanne as well, and the guy Christoph, you guys were really sync. Amazing. Now that you mentioned about director, I have another question that comes to me. What do you like, uh, Elisa? You have you've been acting a lot. Uh, what do you like from from a director? What is that thing that you, as an actress, what was the thing that you say? Wow, this guy, I like him because he do this. He's playing this to me. What is the thing that you like from a director toward toward you as an actress? Mm, I think you're blessed if you have a good connection to the director and the director is seeing you in person and in your character. And he can see and connect your personality to the character. And um, yeah, if you have someone who's warm hearted and also have visions and he can share his visions with your, yeah, with your ability and 
uh, can like create uh, something great out of it. And he's working together with you and that he's seeing you and he's like supporting you and giving you like real like support. And um, this is a great, great thing uh, on the direct side. Wow. A very, very nice answer, Elisa, you, you gave us. I, I love it. You know, I just want this project to 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 be able for other actors, actresses to to know each other, how, how each person works, right, in acting. Uh, my last question is, Elisa, are you coming to Barcelona? If I'm coming to Barcelona? Yeah. I, I will come, yeah. Yes, <laughs> awesome. We would like to have this great actress, you, Elisa. Hey, uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is it. I appreciate your time. Okay. Thank you, Ari. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the invitation for the interview. And, and congra congratulations on your and your supporting, you know, nomination and congratulations in all your projects that you that you're doing. My goodness. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Okay. Wish you a lovely day. Take care, Elisa. Bye. Thanks. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.